Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial. When it comes to professional portrait photography, clicking the shutter is only half the job completed. The aim of portrait photography is to show your subjects in the best possible light, but even with a professional makeup artist at hand, no model will be totally free from skin blemishes, off-white teeth, marks and other imperfections. Of course, there's always the argument about not overdoing retouching, but a light pass to smooth some skin and brighten the eyes is generally acceptable. We're going to show you a few tricks that will not only make a big difference to your portraits, but can also be done in just a matter of moments, meaning you won't have to slave away for hours in front of the computer to get some decent results. The image we're going to edit is a RAW file, so as soon as you open it into Affinity Photo, you'll find yourself in the Develop Persona. You can use the slider bars on the right of the interface to make basic adjustments. These include balancing the exposure levels and using the shadows and highlight sliders to make sure the subject skin isn't overexposed, which is a problem in our image. So let's start by heading to the right of the interface and clicking on the shadows and highlights slider. Drag the highlight slider down to rescue more detail in the subject skin. At this stage, I'm also going to adjust the black point And as this is quite a hyper real portrait, I'm going to increase the saturation just a little. My next job is to brighten the eyes. And the brightening the eyes might seem like a minor adjustment, but it can make a big difference to the final image. Start by selecting the overlay paint tool, which is found on the left of the interface. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is B. Drag the mouse over to the subject's eyes and shrink or enlarge the brush using the square brackets keys. When you brush over the eyes, a mask will appear so you know exactly where you're painting over. With the area selected, head over to the exposure slider and drag the slider to the right. Don't go completely overboard or it'll look quite unnatural. A small increase in brightness will do the job nicely. I'm now ready to exit the develop persona, so head over to the top left of the interface and click on the develop option. Now you're in the photo persona, you'll see you have a huge amount of options, from the tools on the left of the interface to the layers panel on the right. And this is important because we're going to be using the layers panel in this tutorial. Next up, our job is to smooth the skin. If we zoom in and take a look, we'll see our male portrait subject actually has quite good skin, but we can still tidy it up just a little to add that polish to the portrait. We're going to be using a process called frequency separation. And to start this process, simply make a copy of the background layer by clicking Apple or Control and J, depending on if you're using a Mac or a PC. You'll see the copy of the background layer appear in your layers panel. Next, we're going to activate the frequency separation. So head up to Filters and select Frequency Separation. Now, you'll see quite a dramatic change to the way your screen looks, but don't worry about that too much. A frequency separation dialog box will appear. So drag the sliders to select a radius of 2 pixels and a feature protection tolerance of 5%. Once you've done that, just click apply. You can now see the high frequency and low frequency layers in the layers panel. What we're going to do now is blur layer, but we're not going to blur the high frequency layer. Instead, we're going to select the low frequency layer and blur that one instead. So head up to the filters, select blur, and then scroll over and select Gaussian blur. Simply head over to the Gaussian Blur dialog box and make sure there's a radius of around 20 pixels before clicking Apply. So the image now looks completely blurred, but we're going to add a black mask to the layer. To do this, head back over to the Layers panel, hold down the Alt or Option key and click on the Mask Layer option, which is identified by a circle within a square icon. You'll see all the blurring is now gone, but we need to reintroduce some of that blurring to create the smooth skin effect. To do this, we're going to head over to the left of the interface and select the brush tool. Remember the paintbrush tool keyboard shortcut is B. Before you go any further with the brush, make sure that the hardness percentage is at zero. So head up to the top of the interface and just check that is at zero percent. We also need to make sure that the color of the brush is set to white. Once you've done all the steps, you can change the size of the brush with the square bracket keys and paint in the smooth skin effect. The chances are, especially with male models, is that the effect might look a bit unnatural. But don't worry, all you need to do 
is head over to the opacity option on the low frequency layer and lower the opacity to weaken the effect. The last step is to remove any extra blemishes on the model's face and Affinity Photo could do this in a non-destructive way. To proceed, head back to the Layers panel and click on the Add Pixel Layer icon. Make sure this new layer is right at the top of your layers, so if needs be, use the mouse to click, hold and drag to the top. We're now going to head back over to the left hand side of the interface and select the In Painting tool. The shortcut for this is J. Before we go any further, head to the top of the interface and change the Current Layer option to Current Layer and Below. When you're making small edits like this, it can pay to zoom in so you can see what you're doing. We don't need a lot of changes here, so I'm just going to click and get rid of the odd stray hair just to tidy up the portrait one final time. Because it's a non-destructive technique, if you make any mistakes, you can simply get rid of this layer and start again. Okay, that's the technique finished. All you need to do now is head up to the top left of the interface and click on the Export Persona. You can now click File, Export, and save the file in whichever format you choose to. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you can learn more about Affinity Photo at affinity.serif.com.